Hey guys, Ben here from the LEGO family with a tutorial. This is the first time I've ever tried to do this, but I'm going to show you guys how I animate walking cycles. So let's get right into it. First, um, my frame speed is six frames per second. And here's a minifigure right here. I'm going to use Batman to show you guys. Yes, I use six frames per second. You can use more or less depending on how good you are at stop motion. Um, I use 12 frames per second for my fight scenes, but with walking cycles, I do a four frame walking cycle at six frames per second. And it is a one frame where the legs are down, up, forward, and then you end it with both legs together. It looks very nice. It's pretty fluid. I like it and I'm happy with how it turns out. So here's what it looks like. You've seen it in many of my stop motion animations, including my most recent one. And so yeah, I'm going to add some arm movement to this stop motion. And since I just want a simple wave, I'm going to move his arm really slowly, small movements. Bigger movements can make it look choppy. But if you want to punch, I definitely recommend bigger movements. And if you're at 12 FPS, Anything works for the smaller movements. Um, it looks fast anyway, so punches are better. Uh, the smaller movements. So yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Nice walking cycle, and I'm going to have him do a little wave. You'll see how I do that in one second. Right here, yeah, just turn his hand. And it doesn't really matter. Hand turns are pretty quick in real life, so you don't have to spend too many frames on that. It'll look pretty good. It looks pretty good at six frames per second, so that's what the finished product looks like with Batman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this has been Ben from the Lego Family, and I bid you farewell.